good morning friends today our experiment is active power and reactive power so in active power and reactive power we are taking um, load either um, star connection or delta connection so here in this particular panel for active power we are taking only a resistive load in a star connection also and delta connection also we are taking only resistive load only but in reactive power we are taking here inductor so basically reactive elements are uh, inductor and a capacitor but in our panel here only we have inductor only reactive element there is no any capacitive element here so capacitor some panels having a capacitive element also but in this particular panel for a reactive power we are taking only inductor either in uh, star can star load and delta load okay all the measurements whatever are the measurements we need all the measurements also there in uh, control panel only so here this is a voltmeter and this is ammeter and this is wattmeter 1 and this is wattmeter 2 and for reactive power we are taking varmeter varmeter means volt ampere reactive volt ampere reactive meter okay so here we are going to connect this control panel so here we have a uh, three phases r y b and a neutral wire r y b and a neutral wire so this panel getting a three phase power supply from here so this one is a three phase variac from this three phase variac uh, directly we connected to this particular control panel so here we are getting the uh, three phase power supply here so step by step we are going to connect this particular circuit um, by using uh, uh, according to our circuit so as per circuit we are going to connect this one uh, in control panel step by step so first we are going to connect this three phase power supply so r is connected to voltmeter r is connected to voltmeter and then voltmeter first voltmeter to ammeter voltmeter to ammeter and then ammeter second one is directly connected to wattmeter 1 m wattmeter m and then l is directly connected to r so here l is directly connected to r resistive load r this one is r okay first we are going to discuss about only active power but not a reactive power so that's why we are uh, connecting l is directly to uh, resistive element uh, resistive load okay r and then next here v is connected to second wattmeter v and next y is directly connected to terminal v okay and mc here we are going to short mc here we are going to short and here also in this wattmeter also mc we are going to short it then y already we connected to v and then b is directly connected to here b is directly connected to v 
y al terminal ok so here B is directly connected to second watt meter M and then Y Y is directly connected to voltmeter second one and as well as voltmeter second one to voltmeter uh, second one to y okay so then we are taking in um, active power only resistive load but not a so this is the way of connection in active power only in star okay star star load we connected for this active So according to uh, circuit, uh, I am explaining one by one uh, how we connected this entire uh, circuit active power uh, panel, you remember. First R is connected to voltmeter, first terminal, the same voltmeter terminal to ammeter, then ammeter is connected to wattmeter 1. M and MC shorted here and then L is directly connected to R ok you remember here um, the connection is somewhat uh, difficult to understand everyone so this is very easy to understand first to watt meter 1 V is connected to Y and Y is uh, connected to watt meter 2. So, it is mean watt meter 1 V is connected to Y, Y is again connected to watt meter 2. So, it is mean V to Y, Y to V. First V is V1 to Y, then Y is connected to V2, V2 of watt meter 2. So, V to Y, Y to V, it is very simple. Okay, so here connection is completed. Then here we are connecting this Y is directly connected to Y load, Y load, and here B is directly connected to M watt meter two. And again, here neutral wire is connected to center point. Here we are uh, uh, taking the readings only for active power because of that here I am taking only uh, resistive load only but not a inductor, inductor I am going to skip it here by using this one patch card. So, from resistance to, so in load condition, so star load condition for 400 volts we are getting 1.60 amperes and in watt meter reading 500 watts in watt meter 1 in watt meter 2 we are getting approximately 3 400 or 380 something ok you remember 380 ok 380 so those readings we are going to noted here active power so active power star load so calculation part this one so for a uh, voltage four hundred volts no load condition zero currents zero power total power also zero same four hundred volts load condition we are getting one point sixty amperes and this one is 500 watts w1 and uh, w2 is three sorry 
फोर हंड्रेड एटी वैट्स एंड टोटल पावर फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस फोर हंड्रेड एटी ओके वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट दीज वैल्यूज बाय यूजिंग दीज फार्मूलास For active power, so we are going to take calculation part. Already we have taken for a load condition 400 volts. We got 1.60 amperes, 500 watts, and 480 watts for a second watt meter. And total power is 500 plus 480, 980. So based on these readings, we are going to calculate here. First one is pi angle so angle pi is equal to tan inverse of root 3 w1 minus w2 by w1 plus w2 so here tan inverse of root 3 w1 already we know the reading so that one is 500 watts and uh, w2 is 480 watts second watt meter reading and same here also 500 plus 480 so totally we can get it this calculation So π is equal to 2.02 value. So power factor we are calculating in essence cos π that is equal to cos into π already calculated. That one is 2.02. That 2.02 we can substitute here. We can get it 0.999 triple nine. It's mean uh, this is approximately equal to one. So based on this one also we can tell uh, whatever the experiment we done that one is right or wrong. So because here we have taken uh, whatever it may be uh, the load that load is only resistive load. So in resistive load always uh, voltage and current both are in phase. So both voltage and current are in phase in the sense we can get it uh, approximately unity power factor. Then only the experiment we done is. right otherwise the experiment is we done whatever the experiment we done that one is completely wrong okay you remember so whatever it may be the resistive load we are taking in that resistive load we got approximately power factor is unity power factor in the sense then only the experiment is right otherwise it's a wrong experiment we done so three phase active power in the sense that uh, formula is root 3 vi ii into cos pi so here root 3 vi in the sense power supply voltage that one already we have taken 400 volts that 400 volts we substituted here and we got uh, in load condition current is 1.60 that 1.60 we can substitute here power factor already we got 0.39 so according to that we got it 1107.404 Watts. This one is a power now, so that's why watts. Okay. So this is the calculation part of active power.